Well, Danny, what will your side need to do to bounce back this weekend? I think for us, we we were disappointed with uh, the performance and the outcome against Cholton on Monday night. I think you know we had a good way into the game and then conceded with our first box entry from a set piece that we don't expect to concede. We then got ourselves back into the game and more on the ascendancy and we conceded the second goal. And then off of the back of that, I thought we suffered into half time um, in that kind of 10, 15 minute period. And then we come out second half. Um, I thought we took the game to them. I thought Michael Jacobs had a, had, a, had a good impact. Then he gets injured, then Marlon gets sent off and then it becomes a tough evening. So we have to dust ourselves down and we've done that. I think the, the attitude and the work ethic from the, from the group is, is excellent. We have real trust in, in them as people first and foremost. And the great thing about football is that the games come thick and fast and we have the opportunity to respond on, on Saturday. And we need to make sure that we don't concede the soft goals because... You know, for us in the, in the last two games, uncharacteristically, we've done that um, when we've had good places in games. And, you know, as well as that offensively, um, we've, we've been a threat all season, probably didn't, cons- didn't create as much as we would have liked against Charlton. Um, and so that we have to do some work and, and trying, to, trying to be the threat that we have been previously. You'll be without Marlon Pack for the first time this season, as you said there. So who's in contention to take his place? Well, Marlon's been a been a massive player for us, um, as as everybody knows. He's, um, he's he's had an outstanding start to the season. I think when these moments happen, which naturally they do in football, it creates an opportunity for someone else. And I think the the midfield department, probably at the start of the season, is that is that the strongest department. Um, Unfortunately, we lost Louis Thompson to a long-term broken leg. Um, Tom Lowry's been out in in recent weeks. Um, and it's good that he's now now getting back to fitness. And we also have Jay Mingi, Joe Morell and, and, and Ryan Tunnicliffe. So we, we have options in that area. And yeah, when, when one door closes and another one opens, and, and certainly there'll be, there'll be opportunity for someone else come Saturday. It'll be the first time that Pompey and Forest Green meet competitively this weekend, but you and your staff will have done all of your research. So what are you expecting from them? Yeah, they're a team that we know well. Obviously, when uh, we were coming through the division, so with Forest Green, um, I think my Braintree team would have played Forest Green. Um, certainly, my Lincoln team played them a lot. We were challenging right at the top of the division in the National League the year that we that we got promoted. Um, and they actually come up through the playoffs that year. So we then competed again in League Two. So, yeah, I think uh, a team that we know well had a brilliant season last year, got promoted, um, probably as a consequence of having such a successful season, lost some key players, also lost their manager. They now have a, have a new manager um, that's come in. I think that the philosophy is still very similar. They want to come and try to dominate the ball. Um, and they ask a lot of questions of you defensively. And we know that if they get a rhythm and a control in the game, that they can be a real threat. They've had some good results recently at home. Um, I've seen the Papa John's on Tuesday night. They, they scored four against Exeter and before that they beat Bolton as well so no, we, we anticipate a tough game we know every game in League One is is is, is a challenge and um, for us it's about trying to, to find our best levels and that's what we're um, really focused on doing come Saturday We drew Hereford in the FA Cup on Monday how much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah absolutely um, Hereford have a have a rich history in the FA Cup I can remember the Ronnie Radford goal um, that, that you've got to think against Newcastle maybe um, so no uh, a great game for us one that I think we, we will look forward to when it comes around we'll make sure that we're fully prepared because we love the FA Cup it's the, for me the best best cup competition in the world so um, no we'll, uh, we'll look forward to that game when it comes and just finally we'll talk about Jaden Reed, who has suffered another ACL injury how devastated are you for him? Yeah last week um, yeah really tough really broke my heart to be honest because he's worked so hard he come back um, from the first ACL come back in really really good shape worked so hard over the summer and was right at the top of all the physical conditioning work that we did started pre-season really well then picked up the hamstring injury off of the back of the graft that he had for the so the, the, the hamstring that he had the graft on that repaired the, the ACL he then, he, then, he then gets a strain in um, and yeah, literally two sessions in, he's now done the other ACL. And sometimes players are predisposed to these to these types of injuries, and uh, it's a tough one to take. I know that the 
you know, J- Jaden's hurting, the group's hurting, but we're a, we're a together group, we're close. I think the boys are already looking into using some of their fine money to, to send him away and give him a little bit of a break before he has the op. And uh, yeah, we'll get round him and we'll make sure that, that, that he has enough enough love and enough care because it'll be a it'll be a tough road for him. But he's proved once that he can come back and um, I have no doubt that he'll he'll, he'll prove that again and we're uh, we're 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 right behind him every step of the way.